Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Today we'll be reviewing Fedora 40. Now I've never used Fedora before, so this should be exciting. I also got a request recently to make longer videos, so I'm gonna try it out with this video and see how it works as far as making it longer. So yeah, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to fedoraproject.org forward slash workstation forward slash, and you'll be greeted with the leading Linux desktop. A beautiful high quality desktop built on the latest open source technology. Trusted, powerful, and easy. Uh, so far I'm actually impressed with the with the overall layout of this. So why would we choose something like Fedora Workstation? Well, they say it's reliable. Each version is updated for approximately 13 months. That's actually kind of specific. 13 months though, and upgrades between versions are quick and easy. It's beautiful. Uh, workstation is carefully curated to deliver a high quality experience. The desktop is clean and uncluttered. Leading technology, built on the latest technologies and enhancements that open source has to offer. Free and private, meaning that with Fedora, your desktop is your own. It's free, there are no ads, and your data belongs to you. Trusted is developed in partnership with upstream projects, rigorously tested, backed by Red Hat. And see, this is the problem. I don't really like Red Hat. I don't like what they're doing, but that's just me. Uh, makes the most of your device. Fedora works with hardware vendors to make excellent hardware support across a range of devices. Uh, features for everyone. You got some fantastic apps. Let's see what kind of apps they got here. Fedora offers a fantastic collection of apps which cater to every need. Easily install the very best desktop apps with the click of a button from Fedora's repositories, FlatHub, or anywhere else. Okay, so they're using FlatHub as well. I don't think that FlatHub is that bad. I think it's a good alternative if you need something that's more up-to-date. Like if you're on Debian, for example, and you need something that's more up-to-date, but you don't want to use backports, you could use something like FlatHub. I think it'll work out. Like I used um, FlatHub for live captions because live captions was only available on FlatHub, and it works pretty good. I might have to do a uh, video on that sometime. Uh, Workstation speaks your language. Thanks to a global community of translators, Workstation is available in many languages. So that's good. Uh, turn the lights down low. You can flip a switch to turn on dark mode and give your eyes a break. Or use nightlight to reduce screen glare and help with sleep. Online account integration. I'm not, I'm not even going to go over this. I don't really do the whole online account integration stuff. Uh, helpful out of the box. It includes a great set of utilities like clocks, weather, and maps. And I would say this is more... I, I would say that all of this is more about what your desktop environment is than the actual distro. But who knows? This is my first time using it and they could add a lot more things that I just would not get anywhere else. Um... So it's great for developers, virtualization made easy, productivity boosting desktop features, containers are ready to go, and all the packages developers need. Uh, if we go down here, the reason I want to scroll down is because there are more than one spins. So by default, it comes with GNOME, but you can also get KDE Desktop, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, plus Compiz, i3 Tiling, Wow, okay, so you're you are including a window manager. Okay, that's interesting. Um LXQT desktop, LXDE desktop, SOAS desktop, Sway tiling. Sway was interesting to use. Um it's it's great if you want a like a, a Wayland compositor type window manager in Debian. I think it works great. Um, budgie desktop so let's go back up here and what you're going to want to do is let's see download now yep and okay uh so we have two options you could use the fedora media writer or you could use just an iso file um 
let's scroll down a little bit before we download that. Um, so we take security seriously. Once you have downloaded an image, be sure to verify it for both uh, for security and integrity. Uh, okay, so that goes into security. Laptops are preloaded. Okay, so so they've got some laptops that are already preloaded that you can go and buy. That's nice. Um, you can learn more about the Fedora Media Writer. Uh, getting going with Fedora is easier than ever. All you, and let me go ahead and preface this before I keep reading. Whenever I did my virtual box setup, I made sure that it had a minimum of 20 gigabytes. 2 gigabytes of RAM, and I made sure to give it 2 cores. I don't know if 2 cores is going to make it, but we're going to see. So, all you need is a 2 gigabyte USB flash drive and Fedora Media Writer. Once Fedora Media Writer is installed, it will set up your flash drive to run a live version of Fedora Workstation, meaning that you can boot it from your flash drive and try it out right away without making any permanent changes to your computer. Once you are hooked, installing it to your hard drive is a matter of clicking a few buttons. Okay, yeah, so here's the thing. I may not go through with the entire installation. We may just, like, go through um, the the live environment, but I'll try to show how to install it if I can show that. All right, so... Depending on what you want to do, if you are going to write it to a thumb drive, maybe try the Media Writer. If you're going to use this in a virtual box, go ahead and get the ISO. I got the one for Intel and AMD. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch Fedora and see what, what we can do here. Okay, and we're going to use Start Fedora Workstation Live 40. I think that's the one we want to go with. And here we are. I guess it did choose the right option after all. So, so far, first impressions, I am really impressed with the fact that it remembers my screen resolution. Most distributions don't really do that. Uh, I know that with Ubuntu, I had to set my resolution and stuff like that. So, let's, uh, let's go into this installer. Uh, so, install Fedora. So, when you get here, you'll be greeted with whatever language. We're going to choose English. Click continue in the bottom right. Okay, so keyboard is good. The time of date is good. Installation designation. So we want to choose this disk here. And no disk selected. Please select at least one disk to install. Okay, there we go. I got it going. All right, so we could do automatic. We could do custom. Or we could do advanced custom. So we're just going to leave it on automatic, and I would say we are done. And I'm not going to click begin installation, but that was a really slim, a really slim installation go through. Uh, yes, we will quit because I I want to go through the environment without taking too much time and in installing it. So. The wallpaper, I'm actually really digging the wallpaper. Um, and I don't know, like, I I get, like, this Disney feeling for some reason. I'm not sure why. But let's, first of all, okay, so I see Firefox. Let's see how long that takes us. Okay, so, I mean, it didn't take too long. I wonder if it's installed with Flatpak. So when we look at all apps, you'll see your regular camera, your weather. Um, you even have the media writer here. You have your LibreOffice stuff. You have, let's see, system monitor. You have the software, text editor. Uh, just your normal stuff. But it looks like it took out a lot of the stuff like for example I know that with some distributions they have stuff like Sudoku and Minesweeper and stuff like that in there it looks like they cut that out for this so let's look in the software store because I want to see if Firefox was installed with Flathub and we'll give that just a second and while we're in here we can also take a look at um, the store and everything see how it looks um, Okay, so it's a little slow, but it is loading it indeed. 
I also noticed I'm not using nearly as much RAM. So that's good. But yeah, that took forever. Um. Yeah, okay. So let's see what's installed. Firefox. This is where we wanted to go. Okay, so I was right. It is installed with Flatpak. Okay. So not bad. Not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of that. We can scroll to another workspace if we wanted to. We're going to leave it on that one. Um, let's do this. Let's uh, go to settings. I want to take a look at the settings, see what everything's running. Appearance. It Yeah, and it could be slow just because I'm running this in a virtual machine, you know. Okay, so let's see. And then all the wallpapers. Um, none of them really strike out to me as something that I really like, but I really like this one here. This one could be interesting for that day and night. Let's take a look at it. So we got that installed, and let's look at what the dark looks like. Hmm. I don't know. I think I would use the dark mode, but I would also use the picture for the light mode, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. I'll leave it on dark. Um, What else can I do here? Let's look at the system. And then we'll take a look at about. Alright, so we're on Fedora 40. Let's take a look at system details. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, we're on GNOME 46, so that's good. Just like with Ubuntu, we're on 46. Um, this one is different than Ubuntu, though, because the windowing system is Wayland. So that's... Um, I, I think a while back, they decided that they were going to ditch X11 for Wayland because they're known for being more experimental. So they want to try the latest and the greatest, I guess. And a while back, they tried out with Wayland and stuff like that. The kernel, we're on 6.8.5, so it's pretty up to date. All right, one more thing I always like to do. I like to look at the terminal. Uh... I uh, see here's the thing I keep forgetting that I can't just use the mod key and enter I I have to I have to go to the terminal they click on it um uh, but yeah the terminal looks fine uh, I want to see if NeoFetch is installed by default no it's not installed uh we can do sudo apt install NeoFetch which here's the thing about oh yeah Okay, so apt isn't even found. That's right, because we're not on Ubuntu. We're not on Debian. We are on Fedora. So this means that we're going to do sudo dnf install neofetch. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I've never used Fedora before. So I was I was bound to make a mistake somewhere. But let's go ahead and let that install, and I'll show you what the NeoFetch is like on it. All right, and it's done installing. One thought that I had in my mind while this, actually I've got two thoughts on this. Um, the first one being the installation process, as far as DNF goes, is not really that bad, I don't think. I think it's pretty good. I also wanted to say that NeoFetch is archived as of late, and I do want to make a video on it eventually. Um, to, and, just so that way I could give some alternatives to like what you could use instead of NeoFetch for that. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what NeoFetch, if I can spell it right. Let's see what NeoFetch gives us. So yeah, everything looks good with that. Out of the box, there's like 1,957 RPMs installed. And so what do I think of Fedora? Well, this is my first time using Fedora, but I gotta say it's not a bad experience. Fedora is something I would definitely recommend to someone in this background. Again, I can't get over the background. This is like when I did the Ubuntu review. This is like when I did it all over again. I love that little numbat 
Nombat Numbats? <laughs> Dude. I don't know. They just come with so many good wallpapers lately. I never thought they could be so good as a default, you know? Ah, who am I kidding? I would use my own wallpaper. I wouldn't use these wallpapers. But listen, I think it's important to admire the wallpapers because there are people that put in all this work in order to put it on a distribution. And I think it should be recognized because there's some people that regardless of whether or not I like the art, it shows talent. And it shows the amount of effort that they went into for this distribution. But yeah, we've now come full circle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you guys in the next video.